Hello, and thank you for joining today's webinar on harmonizing colors with Hempel. Our presenter for today is Montaha Hedefi. She's the founder of Color Landing Studio. Montaha is a Canada-based internationally recognized color archaeologist that supports many companies around the world with the design and ideation of their color trends and forecast needs. She has an extensive background in the paints and coating industry in the Middle East, Europe, North and Latin America, Southeast Asia. She lived and worked in four continents and speaks five languages. Muntaha serves as the v VP of Color Forecast at Color Marketing Group. She's also a member of the Executive Committee of the Color Research Society of Canada and a VP of the Canada Freelance Guide. She is the co-author of Color Design and Muntaha's article on color related topics are published in numerous trade magazines. I will now hand you over to Muntaha to begin today's presentation. Thank you so much, Mas uh, Hania, and thank you to the audience for being here today. As you know, we launched the 2022 Color Trends last December. But as we continue the pursuit of healing from the pandemic, many studies are showing that color in our surroundings is playing a fundamental role in restoring our moods and regenerating our energy. Color has the power to either cheer us up and make us feel renewed, or make us feel sad and depressed, which we want to avoid, of course. But there's always the question about how to use color to design well-balanced interiors, not only to support our personal healing path, but also to meet our color preferences, because different people have different color preferences, but we all want to achieve that goal of a restorative lifestyle. Today, I hope to give you some ideas about how to use Hempel color trends for this year to realize some of our color goals. I want to start with a quick summary about the trend stories and the colors. So the theme of the color trends for this year is healing and celebration. Healing from pain and barriers to celebrate restoration, love and bond. Each one of us is going through different stages of healing, of course, and at different times. The colors are divided into four different trend stories. Uh, the fourth dimension, social networks, hyper-reality, and immersive living. So the fourth dimension represents our deep appreciation of time in the new normal. In a post-pandemic reality, time and space are interwoven. Every minute is a new chance to restore inner peace and self-love. Social networks refers to post-pandemic and vaccination environments. After isolation, it's critical to restart the connection with friends and family and reinstate our mental health. Hyperreality focuses on the increased manifestation of artificial intelligence and virtual reality and the role of technology in the healing process. Immersive living brings our attention to multi-generational living, to be empathetic, appreciative, loving, and caring of others. Each trend story includes six colors. So the colors for the fourth dimension are natural and biologic. They are inspired by herbs and plants for cleansing. They include soft, unsaturated pastels that remind us of Mother Nature. The colors for social networks are inspired by the subtropical beauty of the Arabian Peninsula. Warm, earthy tones inspired by the different colors and textures of the soil are complemented by cool hues inspired by the waters and the succulent plants. The colors for hyperreality are vibrant. Many of them are saturated to create depth, and some others are contrasting milky and pastel-like colors. They are inspired by technology and on-screen experiences. The delicate washed-out pinky orange that you can see here on the screen, which was selected as color of the year, represents a fresh perspective and translates our desires to actions and feelings. The colors for immersive living are convivial to create joyful spaces for the different generations living under one roof. We see soft neutral colors that come with a long established record of longevity. They are inspired by past periods and generations. 
and they form a bridge with the present. Today, we are going to look into how to use these 24 colors by creating harmonious combinations to support both the healing and the celebration. There are many ways of combining colors to create harmonious settings, of course. But today, I will only touch on the most used, which are by color family, by blackness or whiteness, by color saturation, or by color relationship. First, we're going to look into how to create combinations with colors from the same family. So, but before we start, so we are on the same page, I just wanted to say this. Colors are usually divided into six main families as they appear here on the screen. And they are yellow, orange, red, purple, blue, and green. So creating combinations based on color family is usually called tone on tone because we are using different tones from the same family. And it's the easiest way of creating harmonious combinations because you can't go wrong if you're using two or three colors from the same family. So when we look at the Hempel's palette all together, it can be overwhelming, the 24 colors. So how can we select what colors to use together? So in general, people have certain preference for certain colors, and we will tend to pick those colors. But sometimes these colors might not create the mood that we are looking for, or our selection of colors may clash with each other. For example, if we pick purple and brown, Maybe we love those colors together, but they might not create a great combination. So here we can see that the 24 colors are divided by the color families. So overall, the palette is balanced with softer tones of tinted neutrals like custard cream, call it a day, ash blonde, and lasting moments. They quiet us down during the healing phase. And for those wondering, what is a tinted neutral? These are low saturation colors that have some coloring into them. So we also have these soil tones like Thousand Nights, Dancing Dunes, Beach Festival, and Arabian Mocha. And they ground us and bind us to our experiences. And as you see on screen, for instance, the browns are divided sometimes in the orange family or sometimes in the yellow family. And yes, generally speaking, browns usually are part of either the yellow or the orange family, depending on if they include a little bit of red in them, they are part of the orange family. If they include a little bit of green in them, they are part of the yellow family. As we are longing for previous long lasting experiences and are nostalgic of better times, we included in the palette three colors from Hempel's established portfolio. These are Ash Blonde, Twilight Dusk, and Custard Cream. They highlight the importance of bringing wisdom from the past. First, let's look into the yellow family. So yellow is the color of the sun. And that's why it evokes feelings of warmth, energy, and happiness. But if we use yellow in high doses, it can be overwhelming and it can be abrasive. So we have various yellow hues. We have castor cream and thousand nights. They are earthy, but then we have hyper reality, which is bright and has this burst of saturation in it. So these three colors could be used in combination or with attention to the paler here, castor cream used on the large surface and the other two are used as accents. This combination, as you can see, is very comforting and is very relaxing. But here we can use, for instance, uh, the, the same settings, but again, hyper reality in very small doses to create that atmosphere of serenity and relaxation. 
We could also use uh, the earthy tone Thousand Nights on a large surface. And here in this picture, we can see it combined with castor cream. And this combination is also very comforting and relaxing, but is a little bit more serious than the previous one without the Thousand Nights. Let's look into the orange family. The orange in general as a color combines yellow and red. And depending on the amount of each of them, it could look different. And so the meaning of orange also can vary between cultures, but in general, uh, we know that orange is the color of optimism and creativity, and it's a very encouraging color. And in the palette, orange is the predominant family, and we see different tonalities and different saturations. So orange is an important color for 2022 because it supports the quest for creativity as we are moving to a new phase of healing and rebuilding our lives. And that's why we picked coded message as the color of the year because it represents this quest. Here we can see the use of various stones from the orange family together with coded message as the backdrop on the wall. Coded Message and Ash Blonde here together, they create a very contrasting uh, settings of pale and bright color. Also here we can see Beach Festival and Call It A Day, which are classic colors and most of us are familiar with them. Uh, they can be used uh, separately, but they can also elevate the settings when we combine them together. Here we see dancing dunes and Arabian mocha. They create a very beautiful contrast. Uh, there are endless possibilities with the orange family because there are so many colors to create different combinations from, but I'm gonna stop here. The next family is the red family. Red is the universal color to signify strength, power, courage, and danger. It is associated with strong emotions such as love and passion and anger. Red, as we know, is a vibrant color, it's stimulating and it's exciting. The red family of the palette includes various degrees of hues to meet various preferences. But the general trend this year is for those pink reds in various degrees of saturations. And if you're looking for like powdery pastel colors, uh, we have lasting moments and pink my mind. And even though Timekeeper looks dark, it is considered a neutral pastel as well. If you're looking for vibrancy, we have Breaking Free that can achieve that uh, idea. So this color is really trending this year in many industries, in fashion, in cosmetics, in furniture, and also for indoor. And for those of us that like mystery, we have the color Verity that can achieve that goal. Mother Nature is very good in creating harmonious color combinations. So in this beautiful sunset, we can recognize uh, the color Pink My Mind, a Verity, and Lasting Moments. And they beautifully inspiring all together. And they create this relaxing and loving atmosphere that you feel like you don't want to leave ever. Here in, in Inside Settings, uh, we can see Pink My Mind and Timekeeper together. But we can use dark colors usually to create depth in, especially when you have small and confined sp uh, spaces. So here we see Verity is creating this perception of distance between the table and the wall, but in reality they are very close to each other. And we see the beauty of breaking free used as an accent to add an element of surprise to the settings and also lasting moments add a little bit of tenderness and softness to the place. The vibrant breaking free here is toned down with lasting moments. And these colors are ideal for powder rooms, kids and teenager rooms. And they are also suitable also for nail salons, hairdressing rooms and other settings depending on your preference, of course. Now, the warm side of the palette that we have already seen, the yellows, oranges, and reds, are cooled down by the blues and the greens. 
Now, the, the blues are inspired by water and by the skies. And water has a cleansing and sanitizing effect, as we know. And blue colors play a similar, similar role when we use them in the house. Other than out of the blue that has a green feeling to it, the other blues have a redder feeling. And with twilight dusk, that gives the impression there is a light purple, but it is a blue. And it reminds us actually of Pantone color of the year, very Perry. And in general, blue is stable, is reliable, and is a very calming color. And it makes us feel serene and peaceful. So in this setting, for instance, we see a combination of morning dream, seaside cool, and twilight dusk. And this setting might look very busy because it has various tones of blue, but we still notice that it's very calming and the colors really don't clash with one another. And this is an example of really how you can use tone on tone to create the setting that you like, not only with blue, but with any other color. But some people obviously prefer to have contrasting uh, tones and not the same tonality in this space. And, and in, in which case, for instance, for blue, we, get con we can consider inside story, which is a very vibrant and seaside cool, which is uh, a pale blue, and they work perfectly together to create that contrast. In a similar way, out of the blue, which has this uh, green look to it, can be combined also with seaside blue or any of the other pale blues, and they can create this contrast. Uh, but we can see here that out of the blue is less vibrant than the other blue. So the contrast is more uh, serious and it's more corporate looking, yet it's a very interesting uh, combination. And lastly, we have the green family. And so the green is obviously the color of nature, as we know. It makes us feel in harmony and in peace and relaxed. And I don't have to convince you, just take a walk in the park and you feel energized and invigorated. So the greens here are mid-tone greens that bring nature indoors to revitalize and energize our moods both another time and game on have a pastel appearance to them even though game on is more saturated and vibrant but it's still a pastel -y color and desert spring has this uh, blue feeling to it so an example from mother nature of desert spring and game on here game on is a very retro bright and passionate color is inspired by video gaming and social media challenges. So the, the combination uh, of Game On and Desert Spring is very suitable for teenagers, but is equally relaxing for adults as well. Here we have Desert Spring as a backdrop and another time as an accent, but they can be used either way. You can use another time as a backdrop and Desert Spring as an accent. Another example here of uh, Desert Spring and Another Time. Uh, so we can see here how this space is really very in inviting. You just want to walk in and sit and relax. That was it about uh, combinations by color family. Uh, now the second way to create harmonies is to work with colors based on their blackness or whiteness. <clears throat> And this means the content of black or white in the composition of the color. And this graphic can give, you, give us an idea about how the color appearance changes if we add black to it in different percentages. So the less black, the paler the color, and the more black, the darker, of course. And the percentages that you see here at the, um, under the colors these relate to the percentage of black included in the color measured with NCS color system. So the colors that have less black here, it means that they include more white. And so let's see how we can harmonize with these uh, different blackness and whiteness out of the 24 colors that we have in the palette. 
I want to start with the colors that have the highest content of black in the palette, which are two colors, Arabian Mocha and Verity, and they both include 70% of black in their composition. And if the preference is for darker colors to create this enigmatic and elegant look, but also providing depth, this can be achieved by combining these two colors together. And actually it's one of my favorite combos. But if you're not much into darkness and you could go for a thousand nights and out of the blue, which are balanced in terms of their black and white content because they include 50% black and 50% white. And this combination is a very classic combination, but it's very modern as well. These three colors, uh, Pink My Mind, Lavender Hour, and Desert Spring, have lesser blackness content in them, only 40%. And they can be used together in various ways, and I'm going to sh show you how. Here, for instance, we have Lavender Hour. It's the only purple in the palette. It works really very nicely with this uh, Victorian dusty pink, which is Pink My Mind. And here we can also see Pink My Mind creating a very classic also Victorian setting with Desert Spring. And these two colors are, are timeless colors and they create a very sophisticated combo together. And here we see Desert Spring combined with Lavender Hour which create also a classic and familiar combo. And even more soothing combo inspired by Mother Nature includes Another Time and Dancing Dunes. And these two colors include lesser amount of black in them, only 30%. And now we move to combinations by whiteness. As I mentioned at the beginning uh, of this section, the less black content means more white in the co composition of the color. So if the preference is to create settings that are vivid or intense with colors that have a pastel feel to them, these six colors include 95% of white in their compositions. So any two or more of them can be used in combination to create gentle, comforting environments. And we could also combine them in more than one way. So we could use combinations of low saturated colors for a super relaxing setting or combine the saturated colors to create a very dynamic feel or accentuate the low saturated with the high saturated colors. And this will create more contemporary look that appeals to younger age groups in the house or the office in creative corners. Or we could use warm and cool colors, either as a tone on tone here or in combination warm and cool. And I'm going to show you what I mean. So this is an example of a warm combo, <clears throat> the orange and the yellow. So for those who like a warmer setting, we could combine here custard cream and coded message. And coded message can also be used as an accent to elevate the monotony of pale colors like custard cream, which is very pale. Used alone, it will be a little bit boring. And if you remember this combination from the yellow family, custard cream and hyper reality, they also go very well together because of the pastel feel for both of them. And cre this creates really a smoothness uh, to the, to the uh, settings. So you feel like you just really want to grab it because it's so smooth. With hyper-reality and the color of the year coded message, not only we can achieve harmony, but we also include a playful element to the settings, which could be ideal for uh, play rooms or kids' rooms, or even for family rooms. We also notice here the use of uh, breaking free as an accent. We can see here the appealing and soothing combination of uh, coded message with breaking free. And uh, breaking free basically 
Gen Zers love these two colors together, and you can look into what's going on in in the world to see how much these two colors are working well together. And the magenta breaking free is really everywhere this year. So, if the preference is for more cool tones with a high level of whiteness, here we can see Morning Dream and Seaside Cool. They work unexpectedly well together. They are fresh, they provide this delicate feeling of clean and bright without the saturation, of course. But they also work well together because they belong to the same family, obviously, of blue. And here uh, we can see the charm of the warm and the cool combo together. So here we include uh, low saturation like uh, seaside cool and high saturation colors like hyper reality and uh, breaking free. And so these, this combination, uh, th these three colors together really uh, create uh, freshness, they create happiness. This is another one of my favorite combos. Here we see another combo, warm and cool, bringing together the low saturated uh, morning dream with the high saturated, which is very sizzling, breaking free. And you can see it creates this unexpected and happy settings and you only want to look up and enjoy it. Another warm and cool combo using the low saturated coded message and morning dream uh, creates this relaxing and very appealing look. These three colors include a little bit less white in the composition, only 90%. The other colors that I just showed you include 95% of white. And here they also have a low saturation, which gives them that softness, milky pastel look. Here we see a totally soothing pastel settings with the warm orange a dreamy flamingo and the cool green game on. And this combination is ideal for babies and kids' rooms, but it's equally inviting for the living room as well. And it makes you feel like sitting inside a dream. It's so soft. And here we see the two uh, cool tones, which are Game On and Twilight Dusk contrasting with each other, and they create a very modern setting. These three colors include slightly less white, only 80% in the composition of their uh, hues. And they are slightly darker than the previous ones, as you can see. But they are classic colors. They are traditional colors. They have a long lasting history. And they're very convenient to create more serious home or corporate environments. These colors, they can be used together, like in this uh, example, the three of them have been used in a combo together or in a combo of two, for instance, um, Beach Festival and Ash Blonde. Here they create a very contrasting, uh, yet very subdued uh, environment. But they also belong to the orange family, as you remember, we have already seen this uh, photo. And here we can also combine Beach Festival with Call It A Day, and they are also from the Orange family, as you remember. So the third way to create harmony in combinations is to use the chroma or the saturation level of the color. And the saturation or the, the chromaticness refers to the quality or the intensity of the color as we perceive it. As we perceive it based on the how much pigment color how much pigment is included in the in the color here I, sh I share an example of red for instance for the far left here this red is highly chromatic its chromaticness is 80% and to the far right here this color is still red but it's very uh, low saturated or low chroma. And the percentages here that I have included at the bottom of each color, they indicate uh, the uh, saturation or chroma level, uh, which is measured with the NCS color system. 
Let's start with the colors that measure a 10% chroma, which means they are very uh, more dulled or more grayed. So we see some of them are pale, but others are darker. And so when we used them in combination, we could achieve different styles, either by contrast, like uh, using a pale color with a dark color, or by juxtaposition, by using pale with pale and dark with dark. Let's see some examples of that. Here we see Thousand Nights contrasting with Castor Cream. Uh, and that's just the preference is for an earthy look, yet infused with some light that comes from castor cream. And if you remember these two colors, they combine also well together because they are from the same family of yellow. Here we see Call It A Day and Arabian Mocha. They create a beautiful contrast because we have a pale color and a darker color. And here we see an example of Call It A Day with another sign. And we can see the peaceful settings for these two colors together. This is another set of five colors that share the same saturation level. Uh, they are slightly more saturated than the previous set. And they include 20% uh, saturation or chromaticness, and they can be combined in sets of two or three colors, depending on the preference. Here we see an example of warm and cool. Uh, the warm yellow and um, sorry, the warm, warm orange beach festival and the cool uh, green, uh, the cool blue out of the blue. And here we see the contrast, uh, how this contra contrast is creating elegance, but yet they are very familiar colors. Here we see out of the blue working very well together with uh, the warm red verity, and this creates a very formal look. Here, out of the blue and morning dreams, uh, either of them can be used as an accent or can be used as the backdrop. And if you remember, we also saw this combination in the blue family. And lastly, we can create intensity and playful spaces suitable for gaming or for kids or for Gen Zs, but also for those who like modernity and want to break free from classic combinations by using these four colors that have higher chroma or intensity than the previous ones. Actually, they include 50% chroma. They mean they are uh, medium saturation. The combinations really are unexpected and endless. You can do whatever you want with these four colors. But these colors, <laughs> they are not for the faint of heart. They are really for the new upbeat a person that want upbeat colors uh, if you want to have the courage to experience with modernity and different colors than just very subdued colors. So let's look. Here the energetic uh, game on uh, is creating a very beautiful combo with the earthy orange dancing dunes and we see these two colors in nature very often. Here we have the lively yellow hyper-reality in combination with the creative uh, orange coded message. And so they create really rhythm and, and movement because yellow usually is the color of movement. So we can see together, it feels like we are dancing with these two colors. Here, both hyper-reality and game on are very animated colors, of course. And the, the combination together can create a very vibrant atmosphere. And lastly, coded message and game on here, they remind us of highlighters. They create a super dynamic combo together. Our last way to create harmonies today is by combining colors based on their relationship to each other on the color wheel. And so the color wheel is used in color theory. And I'm sure many of you have seen it before. There are many harmonies that could be created using the color wheel, but today I am talking only about complementary colors. And so any two opposing colors on the color wheel are considered complementary colors and they harmonize very well together in whatever uh, chromaticness or saturation 
for example, the yellow and the purple, they always good combinations together. So are the green and the red and the blue and the orange and the other colors in between, of course. So here we see uh, complementary colors, uh, lavender, hour and hyperreality, a blue and a purple. And we see this combination very often in nature. And here we see lavender hour with castor cream, a blue, uh, a purple and a yellow. And here we see out of the blue and the orange dancing dunes combined together. So blue and orange. And finally, uh, from the red family, breaking free, and from the green family, desert spring, we can see the nice combination red and green. So these four combinations that I showed you of complementary colors apply to all the colors in the palette. The choices are endless, but due to time uh, considerations, it is not possible to include all the colors today in this presentation. But on this vibrant note, I end my presentation. Thank you to all our to the audience, and I hope you have enjoyed it and will experiment with one or many of the combinations. And now we are going to open the floor for your questions.